and we're back with another amazing video as you guys already know this is my completed pages um if you're new to my channel thank you for clicking on my channel i hope that you enjoy this video and if you do don't forget to subscribe down below turn on that notification bell and also give me a thumbs up if you like this video because it does help out my channel very very much um and also welcome to jenny's pages where i show you guys adult coloring um and also some supplies whenever i am able to get some supplies for you guys and show you guys all of the supplies that i use based on my pages and um yeah in today's video i actually wanted to show you guys all everything that i did for this month so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with this video so um here is all the information that i have for you guys to start off this video i did a total of 55 completed pages i did i touched 39 coloring books i worked on 21 disney pages and i had 26 buddy colors and within those buddy colors it was a total of seven different people that i had worked on on this month um new coloring books is a total of 15 new which some of them are included based on gifts and then here is just a list of me to make sure that I had touched every single body color with everybody that I was supposed to work with. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can actually see this pretty good, but I'll try my best. Um, this is just my top coloring books to complete. I just checked them all just to make sure that I'm touching every single one for the month. And then here is Scavenger Hunts by Happy Colors on Instagram. I did a total of five, which was number one, Roses, Two Hearts, Five Swan, the six was Disney Love Any Pages, and eight, which is the candlelight, and then the rest of them, I was not able to get them done. Here we have the 50 Safari Miniatures by Camilla Angel Kova, and I had worked on with Nemeyer's Coloring, and also I worked with Kate Colors on this book. This is one of my book to complete project book. So let's go ahead with the first page on here, which is this page. And this page I had completed with, um, Kate colors on here and I use metallic I ended up using um regular alcohol markers on here and I used a little bit of jelly rolls for the eyes and my son was the one that actually had picked out all of the colors for this page and he was just telling me what colors he wanted for what so he pretty much picked out the colors for me and I think he did a pretty pretty much an amazing amazing job um and also if I did a body color with anybody the pages will be on my left side of the screen so you guys can actually see that and check that out with um everybody that i did a buddy color but this is the one i did with kate colors and she does amazing amazing job on her pages here we have the second page that i had completed for this month which is a buddy color with Nemeyer's coloring and i think um this one came out okay i didn't put much effort into it i think i just went based on just browns and i didn't much i didn't do much to it but i did use a little bit of the glitter on there on all three of them and alcohol markers as well on this page very simple page didn't do much to it here is another one. This one is The 50 Autumn by Camilla Injokova. This is also a project book. And I only completed this page out of here, which is this one. It was not a body color. I just did this one on my own. I used soft pastel for the background and I used a glitter for the fox, I think he is. And alcohol markers. I used metallic on this page. And super fun page. I had so much fun with this one. I used a lot of stickles on here as well. I'm not sure if you guys can see that on the camera, but hopefully you guys can. Here we have Sweet and Simple, Winty Girls, Mermaids, and More to Color, 50 Magical Pages. And this is by Hannah Lynn. And this is um, all of Hannah Lynn's book. I actually want to work on them all year around. And so in this book, I only did one page that I had completed, which is this one right here. And I didn't do nothing in the background, but I did use stickles for her hair, like a little strings on her hair. And then I ended up using um, glossy accent for the eyes and then stickles for down here and then alcohol markers as well for this one. Very simple page. 
here we have winter girls through the decades and i think i only completed yeah i only completed one page out of here which is this page right here and i used a lot of stickles for this one i try to use a three color combination for her hair and also i use like um uh, I think it was a gel pen that I was using for the outline as well for her hair. Glossy accent for the eyes and the mouth. And then I used the watercolors on a little bit on the background. And a lot of stickles down here for her outfit. Here we have a tattoo darlings. And this one I believe I only completed one page out of here. Which is this one. And I ended up going based on a color palette. Which I brought five colors. And these were the colors that I used. I thought this with page came out pretty cool. I had so much fun trying to do her hair. And I ended up using once again glossy accent for her eyes. I used it on here as well. For the motorcycle. Um, I thought it was a super cute page to work on. I also used like the, li the little liquid pearls on here. Just to do little dots around the pages i just thought that would fall in with it also i use soft pistol on the background super fun pay like i said and i had so much fun with this one especially with her hair it was something different a different combination of hair i think i ended up using like a dark red a lighter red and then yellow someone like that i think it was i had to check the color palette but it was a super fun color palette to work on and i just loved how it came out here we have kawaii girls and this one is four books in one by jay summer and i ended up completing just one page out of here i did stickles for the hair um glossy accent stickles on the background as well for the little snow on the little mountains on here as well i thought that would be pretty fun i used metallic colors on the outside um and then the glitter markers on there as well for the outfit i thought that would look pretty cool here we have fairy celebration and for this page i actually tried something new that i had never never done in my life so i was trying to do the whole little fur thing so first of all this was part of prompt five this one this is the page that i chose and i think it came out pretty good for being the first time i think i have still a good amount of work to do but i was trying to do the whole fur thing on the on the birds here the swan here and then i used metallic um a water base markers of some areas and then the rest were a uh, hoo alcohol markers super fun pay i use stickles as well on this page here we have fantasy fairy cuties and and this one i believe i only completed one page which is this one right here and this one i used um classy not classy accent and also stickles on top of her eyelids I thought that would be pretty fun. I used metallic outline for the whole entire character here. Um, I used jelly rolls and um, stickles on the top here. Very fun page, very simple, and soft pastel on the background. Here we have the 50 Desert Theme Miniatures by Camilla and Jokova. I did a few body colors on here. So the first one here is a body color with K colors. And this one I ended up using stickles for the wings. So it looked like the stickles were like falling out from the wings. I used the water uh, watercolors on here for the cake on here. I thought that would be super fun. And then I also ended up using um, water-based color and Ahuhu alcohol markers and metallic on here as well. It was a super fun page to work on. And I am running out of my alcohol markers so i have to keep going back and forth with those and my water-based markers which is fine with me because i don't mind using both of them but let's go ahead and go to the second body color here which was with jules and jackie conrad we did this page all together jules is quirky girls world on instagram and this is the page that we chose to complete i ended up using metallic for the outline of the inside i guess it like cream and then same thing here and then i use stickles on here which i love using those stickles as well and super fun page here and i'll show you guys also the girls um pages on there i had so much fun coloring in this book and this is a super super fun book to color in 
and then the last page that i had worked on was with low colors on instagram and um this is in my page and this is how my page turned out i try to use a lot of metallic on here glossy accent as well up here use glossy accent i was trying to not put too much glossy accent on here because one time i did that a big space and i put too much and it took forever to dry so <laughs> this time i was like let me be mindful just put a little bit and then i put an outline all over the characters i thought that would come out pretty good and that's pretty much what i did with this one and i did use water-based colors because water-based markers because like i said i'm running low on my colors so that is my page on here and i show you guys low colors as well once again super cute and fun coloring book to work on here we have broken circles this is um a book project with Disney and Max, and this is by Tabitha L. Barnett. We worked on one page, which is this page right here, and I ended up using um, alcohol markers, but there are the pastel colors. I was trying to stick more to pastel colors on here. I used a lot of jelly rolls on this one. All the flowers are based on jelly rolls. And then uh, that's pretty much what I did with this page. So I'll be showing you guys Disney Max page as well. She did such an amazing job with her page. Here we have Sweethearts by Sherry Ann. And I worked on one page out of here. And which is this one right here. I thought this would be super cute because of Valentine. So I did a lot of stickles on here for her shirt and by the little ribbon on the basket. I used water-based markers on here as well. And then I used the outline for stickles on her little bow. I had super, super much fun with this one because I was just entertain and just having fun and i don't really like doing pages if i'm gonna feel stressed about it or i'm gonna feel like i'm being obligated if i complete a page i do this for fun it's just part of my hobby and it's just stuff that i like to do during the day but this is the only page that i worked on for this book here we have chibi girls this is another project book with nemeyer's coloring and we only completed one page out of here which we're working every single month and this is my page on here and I did stickles outline, glitter on the stars, water-based markers. Um, and that's pretty much it. Glossy accent for the eyes and a jelly roll for her lips. That's pretty much for this page. So super fun. This one we're working once, one page out of each month until we get this book done. Very simple chibi girls. Here we have the 50 prehistoric by Camilla Angel Kova, and I believe I only did one page out of here. This is my page that I had completed. I used the soft pastel for the background, metallic on here as well, and this is a buddy color with PC's colors. This is the first time that I do a buddy color with her, and I think she did such an amazing job for her page as well. Super, super fun page, and I have not been working on this book as much as I would love to, but hopefully I will in the future. Here we have adorable characters, cuteness overload, and I believe I only completed one page out of here. And they're stuck together. Okay, so this is the page that I had completed on here. I used stickles for her dress. I thought that would be pretty cute for the little girl. I used metallic on here, glossy accent, and water-based markers once again. Hopefully soon I could get my Ahuhu again. I do want the 320 set again. They lasted me a pretty long time. And I still have, it brings six boxes like in the inside of the little thing that it comes with. And out of those six, I only have four left over. And, but they're pretty much just the, like the brown colors and like gray colors and things like that. I don't have any yellow, any red, any purple. I don't have like those type of colors. I don't have them. Here we have Sherry Baldy, Little Rascal. This is another project book with Quirky Girls World. We completed one page out of here, which is this page right here. And I used a lot of liquid pearls for this page. I feel like I haven't been using my liquid pearls as much as I would like to. So I decided to use a good amount on here. I used it for the dress and her, rib her ribbon on the top. And then I used it for the cake as well. I thought this was a super cute page and I love her um jewels page how it came out super super cute and adorable i think she did way better of a job besides um how mine's came out hers is way better so <laughs> she did such an amazing job on this page 
Here we have Enchanted Faces. This is another yearly to work on and also a book project with low colors. She decided to help me out with this book and I am working on the pages that she had already completed. I'm missing one more page and I can get them done before, um, not before, but for next month that we're going to be starting to work together on this book and then I'll get that other page completed. But this is the only page that I had completed for this month for this book and I think she came out okay. Um, not a lot. I didn't like the skin color, but everything else came out okay. I used alcohol markers on here and metallic for her hair outline. And that's pretty much it for this page. We have another one, Amazingly Adorable. And I believe I only completed one page out of here, which is this one right here. I've been wanting to do this page for a while. I used watercolor on the background for the little heart. And I used a lot of metallic on here for her jewelry and her face right here, like the little um, butterfly and the top of her eyelid. I also used a little bit of metallic on there. But very simple page and a fun page to complete. Double Trouble by Coco Wild. I completed one page out of here, which is the, this one right here, the two pillows. I really love this page, and I used a lot of metallic glitter on here, liquid pearls, water-based markers, alcohol markers, <laughs> all of that good stuff I used on here. And I thought this was a super, super cute page to complete for this month. This one brings a lot of... Uh, like valentine type of um pages on here so if you're thinking you don't have this book i think you should go for it it's very simple it doesn't have a lot of um background or details or anything like that so if you want something simple and cute i think you should go for the double trouble coloring book 50 jungle this is another book to complete project book that i have i don't have nobody that i'm working on with this book but here is one page i completed and um jules quirky girls world was the one that helped me out with this one this is a buddy color she helped me out do, to do this page and i love how her page turned out i used a metallic on mines um for the outline as well used alcohol markers on here and a little bit of metallic on their wings I'm not sure if you guys can see that there. Here we have Fairy TVs. This is one of the new ones that came out by Alexandra Francis. And this one is a book project with K Colors, Low Colors, and Quirky Girls A World. We're all going to be working on this book. So for this month, um, two of us have picked out two pages and then next month two of the other girls will be picking for next month so basically we're going to be rotating and doing two pages out of here so the first page that we had completed which is this one right here which i thought it was super super cute and super fun for us to complete this page i ended up using stickles for her hat um and stickles for her wing and liquid pearls for the little strawberries on here as well and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all of the girls' um, pages. I have Kate Colors page out here where she did such an amazing job. Let's go ahead and show you guys Quirky Girls World. She also did such an amazing job for her page. I And every single one of them had a different idea. And then we have Low Colors page where she also did such an amazing job amazing job with their pages like they all had a different idea and i was so excited when i seen everybody's pages which was so so cool and everybody had such a different idea you're probably jenny you already said that but i'm just super excited for this book and here we have our second page that we have worked on which is this page right here and let me go ahead and show you guys what i did on mine i ended up trying to stick more to like the pink and the yellow and i used a lot of the glitter brush markers that i have and that's pretty much it i didn't end up using glossy accent for her eyes i actually did forget but i like how she turned out but let's go ahead and check out how the girls did her pages let's go ahead and start with k colors and this is her page she did such an amazing job and i really really love how hers turned out and um i just had so much fun with these pages and then let's go ahead and jump over with low colors and check out her page she did an amazing job as well remember you guys can follow these girls on instagram they all have instagram on there and then let's go over to quirky girls world where she did an amazing job with her page as well i'm super excited cannot wait to see what else we're going to be able to do with these um pages we are trying to go all out there trying to do different stuff and things like that so yeah stay tuned stay you know connected on our youtube on our instagram and check out all of our pages 
Here we have um, another book that I had just completed one page out of here. This is the Kawaii Cuties by Alice Mills Publishing. And this is the only page that I had completed, which is based on flowers. And this is a color by number, which it gives you the key over here. It gives you an example. And then this is my page that I had completed. Here we have Winsicle Darlings, cute and simple. And I believe I only completed one page out of here, which is this one. I'm not too happy with it, how it came out. I don't know if it's the green. I don't know, but I didn't really like it as much. I used glossy accent, glitter, stickles, um, alcohol markers, metallic on here. Very fast page to complete, but I didn't like how it turned out. I don't know what it is about it, but yeah, at least it's another page that was completed on here. Here we have Steampunk Darlings, another yearly to work on, one of these um, coloring books. And this is the page that I love, love how it turned out. I tried to do a two combination or a three combination on her hair. I used a lot of glitter on here for the background. The color palette, it was based on a color palette except the blue. Everything else was based on a color palette. And the blue, I just added the blue on there. I wasn't sure what color to use on the background. So I was like, you know what, let me just put it blue, even though it has nothing to do with the color palette. But I did went based on that. I used glossy accent, metallic on here. And I really, really do love how this page turned out. Here we have Winter Girls Celebrate the Holidays. And this is the page that I had completed on here. I used metallic on here for her decorations. I used a glitter for her dress. I thought that would come out pretty good. And I used soft pastel in the background and also used a little bit of watercolor on there and then I had started and then I just didn't like how it was turning out. So I just stopped doing that. But it, does, it came out pretty good, the page. I think I had so much fun with this one as well. And I used a two-color combination for her hair as well. Here we have the 50 Romantic um, by Camilla Injokova. And I believe this is Prom 8, the Candle Light. And this is the page I chose. And this one, my daughter was the one that picked out the colors for me. She told me where she wanted the colors. And that's pretty much how I went. Um, she wanted him with the little black outfit on here. So I used the glitter brush markers for the hat and his little bow. And then I used the outline over here for the bow for the girl. So she had an amazing um, color to choose on here. She did such an amazing good job telling me what colors to put where. And yeah, this was a super fun page to do with my kids. Enchanted Gnomes. This is by Coco Wild, one of my favorite books. And this is the only page that I had completed for this month. And here I used metallic on here. I used glossy accent for the little hearts all over the page. Um, and I ended up using watercolor for their outfit. Not watercolors. Uh, Water-based markers for their outfit. And then everything else was alcohol markers on here. I love this book and I really, really love working on this book. I just love the scenes on here, how cute they are, the little gnomes and stuff like that. So hopefully I can work more on this book throughout the year. Here we have Mythical Maidens and Curious Creatures. And I only worked on one page, which is this one. This is the first time that I ever do an entire white outline for the entire horse and the hair. I wanted to try something different. I seen a girl do, I think was a book out of Jay Summer and they did like a little mermaid and then the hair was completely like this. Like it was some type of grayish and it looked way better than mine's, but <laughs> I did, I wanted to try something different. I think it came, it came out okay, you know, not so bad, not so bad, but I used a lot of um, the glitter brush for her outfit and a little bit of metallic on there, glossy accent, and alcohol markers on here as well. Here we have cute chibi created coloring. And this was actually a gift and I really, really was not expecting this at all. And when I did receive it, my daughter was like, you bought another coloring book? And I was like, no, I did not. So when I had opened, I saw the little note on there and I was so excited for this coloring book because I've been wanting this coloring book for the longest time. I always see people on Instagram putting pages and I'm like, I cannot wait to do a page out of there. But this is the page that I worked on with low colors. It is a buddy color. And this is my page. I wanted to use a glossy accent for the ice on here. I used a glitter for the honey, the little 
thing here and over here i also used that used metallic on there it was such a fun page to complete and i cannot wait to do more out of this book i'm super excited i love these pages they're super super cute so this was my page and i'll show you guys low colors page as well her page came out super cute as well i love how she did all her colors on there and how she did her page here we have Fairy Cuties. This is a book to complete, a project book with Quirky Girls World. You guys already know we have started this a couple months ago. And this is our page that we have picked out for this month with Quirky Girls World. This is my page, how it turned out. And I used metallic for the little hearts on there. Um, I used water-based markers, of course, because I don't have a lot. But <laughs> And then I used alcohol markers down here. I used jelly rolls. Um... And stickles for the little wings on there. Very super fun page to complete. And let me go ahead and show you guys Quirky Girls a page. She did such an amazing job. And I feel like her page came out way better than mine's. And I love it. I love these pages. It looks super, super cute. <laughs> Here we have a fairy tale princesses, a storybook, darlings, another book I want to work on yearly. And this is prompt one based on roses. And this is the page that I decided to pick. In this book, I actually want to do um, some, like, it brings double. So one of them will be based however, however I would like to color it. And this one will be based on the princess from Disney. So this is this page. And I really love how this one turned out. I used a lot of glitter on here, metallic and stuff like that. And then I colored in the rose. And then I put a little bit on, of the water watercolor on top to see how it looked and i really like how it turned out super fun page to complete i had so much fun doing this page and cannot wait to work more on this book jumping over to the disney books here we have Les grand classics tome 10 this is a book project as well with k colors we're working five pages out of each month to complete so we are doing so far pretty good both of us are on time with not on time but we're on the pages and we're not like being behind or any kind or in it in any kind of way so here is the first page that we had worked on and this is page 16 I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, Kate colors page and uh, this is our second page we worked on we're working on our right side first before we do the left side so this is the next page which is page 18 and this is my page so let me go ahead and show you guys um kate colors page and then this is the next page we worked on which is nemo and the little family here with the parents and i think this page gave me a headache it just completely gave me a headache because it was just too much. Not them. It was just more out here that was getting on my nerves. But I finished. The page is completed. Let me go ahead and show you guys Kate Colors. And then the last page, I think. Nope, we still got one more to show you guys. Is This one is page 22 that we had completed. Another one. This is a disaster for me because I ended up confusing two of the markers and switched them by accident without even realizing. And then when I did realize, it was already too late because I had already did some sections. So I was like, you know what? Let's just keep on going because I'm going to be with a headache with this page. <laughs> but the page is complete. So let me go ahead and show you guys Kate Colors. And the last page that we worked on this one for this month was this page, which is page 24 out of the, this book. And I ended up using acrylic markers on here. I haven't used them in a long, long time ever since I started using the Stabilo markers. But I think this page came out okay. I didn't have this color in my Stabilo's markers for some reason. So I ended up having to use the acrylic. I don't like using two types of different materials for here. Like say if I started off with the material with the Stabilo ones, I want to stick to Stabilo's and finish the whole page like that. Or if I start with the acrylic markers, I want to start and finish with the acrylic markers. It's just a thing I have, but this is just how my page turned out. So let me go ahead and show you guys cake colors page. The next one is Looney Tunes Tome 2, and I ended up completing one page out of here, which is page 
53 <laughs> page 53 and this is how my page turned out and i do believe my daughter had picked out this page for me for me to complete so this is the work the one that i had worked on i thought it was super cute and i love butts bunny here with um i forgot her name but <laughs> this is the page that i had completed out of this one here we have this one which is the heroes versus uh villains and i did one page out of here which is a page 71 with jasmine here and this was a super fun um, page to complete here we have mickey and friends one of my favorite coloring books out of the disney ones and this one is prompt six based on disney love and i decided to pick this one because you know he's just more in love with her with daisy i think it is and i had so 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 much fun with this page um and very simple page it didn't take me that long at all it does this book does look like it has a lot of um details and stuff like that but it's very easy to complete we have babies i ended up doing and two pages out of here and here is the first one which is the annoying fishies on here i thought this was just a struggle for me with this page and then let me take this out of the way and then the second page that i worked on was this one right here which i really really love how it turned out here we have the special portraits ones and i think i only completed one page out of here which is this one right here super fun page to complete and this is page 34 here we have this one this is a book to complete a project book as well i i'm going to be working on this book with low colors throughout the months and um i'm also i was working on some of them with giraffe walrus she was helping me do the ones that low colors had already completed which she sent me all the numbers for so i have i'm completing those so i can catch up and still work with low color low colors on this book so let me go ahead and show you guys the first one is a buddy color with giraffe walrus which is shelby and this is the page that we have worked on low colors had already completed this one and this one i really don't like it i hate the whole gray and black colors on here but a page that i completed <laughs> and then the next one is this one was it was also with shelby this is the page that we had completed on here the next page was with low colors which is this page on here and i'll show you guys low colors page Here we have the next one. This is by Shelby. I mean, Buddy Color with Shelby. And this is the page that we had completed here. I also have my kids with me. So if you guys hear anything, there are my kids. Um, and I'll be showing you guys also everybody's Buddy Colors on these um, Disney color by number. This is a Buddy Color with Shelby as well. And this is a my page. This one was with um, Shelby as well. This was, this was on my own. I did this one on my own. I was trying to do a fast um, speed recording on this one. And yeah, I had to work this one on my own. I already had it ready for a while now and I just didn't get to it until now. So this one's one that I had worked on my, by myself. And then this one is a body color with low colors and I also used it for prompt two based on the heart. So here is our page or well, the page that we have worked on for this month. Here we have the Grand Classic. This is Tone 1, and this is a, a book project as well. I just want to work on this throughout the year. This is the first page that I had completed. I also have a second channel. It's just based on speed coloring. If you guys are interested, I'll put the name up on the screen so you guys can follow me. It's just me um, showing you guys how I color in each page out of here. Um, 
but I'm not talking or anything like that. It's just speed coloring. That's pretty much what you guys are going to be seeing. This is another page that I had completed as well. And these videos are up already on my other channel. Here is another one that I completed. I really love how this one turned out. Once again, for all these Disney pages, I am using Stabilos and Ahuhu water-based markers. And for the last book is Love Story. And this one is one of the super detailed one but i really really love this coloring book and this is the page that i chose out of this one this is a page 16 jasmine and i forgot his name but <laughs> this is the page that i had completed and i had so so much fun on this one so those are all the completed pages that i have worked on on the month of february i hope that you guys are ready for my next video which is going to be by the end of next month um i am going to switch how i'm doing things now i'm not going to upload every single monday what i'm going to be doing is technically just upload completed pages and if i have more than 10 coloring books and a good amount of supplies i'll be showing you guys those on a video but i am going to take a little bit of a break and i'm just going to go based on only i'm um, showing you guys my completed pages at the end of the month and i'll still be uploading on my other channel as well i upload every four days over there and i do a speed coloring for you guys so if you guys want to go ahead and follow me like i said the name will be on the screen for you guys and um yeah i thank you so much for being part on my youtube channel and i hope to see you guys on my next video i hope you guys have an amazing amazing rest of the week and i see you guys on my next video.